it is finally 2020 and honestly 2019 has been a crazy year we started off the year with 132,000 subscribers and we ended off the year with 232,000 subscribers so there's 100,000 of you guys who came through I appreciate that. In all seriousness, I do want to thank you guys so much. It's It's been a crazy ride last year. I mean, there was a lot of good and there was also a lot of bad, but through it all, you guys stuck through and we all managed to grow together. So I'm hoping that 2020 will be an even better year than last year. Usually when I make these kind of videos, I would like to thank everybody who helped me get to where I'm at, but truthfully speaking the ones who i should be thinking are you guys again if it wasn't because of your support we wouldn't even be here right now so this year i'm thinking everybody who even took the remote chance or even the time out of their day to even watch one of my videos is because of that 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 gave me more drive more motivation more inspiration honestly to keep going you, you guys are the driving force of this channel so i want to thank all of you guys for taking the time to even watch one video, even if it's just for one minute or even 30 seconds. Now with all that out the way, we have a few things we need to talk about. And the first one is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. A lot of people have been asking me whether I'll be doing it on Twitch or if I'll be doing it on YouTube. I just wanna let you guys know that for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I'll be doing a full playthrough of the game on YouTube. So when the game drops, expect a full playthrough of the game on my channel um if it does well and you guys want to see like all the side content and whatnot then i might do that but that's not to say that dragon ball z kakarot is going to overtake dragon ball legends i'm going to try to get them i guess um uploaded alongside each other so if there's those who want to watch the dragon ball z kakarot content they'll watch that and if there's those who want to watch the legends content uh, they'll watch that or if there's those who just want to watch both then you'll have both all in all i can't wait to play that game bro because like have you guys seen like the scenes that they've been uploading on twitter and all of the side mini games that they're adding they have uh when goku and piccolo were learning how to drive as a mini game they have gohan playing baseball as a mini game they have it, it's so expansive bro like dragon ball z kakura is gonna be some fire bro i promise you now for a game that actually not a lot of you guys know that i actually covered and that is kingdom hearts 3 because i'm actually a very huge kingdom hearts fan and when the game dropped i did an entire playthrough on my twitch channel so there is a brand new dlc for that game dropping which is kingdom hearts 3 remind i believe on the 23rd of this month and i will be doing a playthrough of the dlc on twitch so starting on the 23rd i'll be playing kingdom hearts 3 all the way up until completion well the dlc all the way up until completion on my twitch channel so if there was any of you guys who was along for that journey the journey will continue come the 23rd final fantasy 7 remake now that is one game i know for a fact everybody has been waiting for I i've been waiting forever for that game since they showed that little tech demo when the ps3 first launched so with that game yes i will be covering it no i will not be covering it on youtube i'll be doing that on twitch because honestly speaking there's a lot of people who've been covering final fantasy way more than i have on youtube so i'm pretty sure when it comes down to that type of coverage people will go to them which is perfectly fine but that doesn't mean that we can't play everything live on stream so when that game drops i will be covering it on twitch also there's supposed to be a demo that's coming out and i will be covering that on twitch as well if anything if it's the bomb run demo then i already know what to expect because remember during e3 i believe this year i had the opportunity of playing the final fantasy 7 remake demo which was it was so good bro but yeah when it comes down to final fantasy 7 remake we will be doing that on twitch also because if i play it for like a playthrough on youtube then i'll have to like you know record and stop periodically and if there's a moment that i really want to play but i can't because i have to do something or whatever the case may be i would have to record the video instead of just trying to play through the game so i think twitch will probably be a smoother experience and then when I'm finished, I can just like highlight everything so the videos never go away. And honestly, I think that's really it. I mean, there are other games that will be coming out later on in the year as well. I know one of them is My Hero Ones Justice 2, which I think I'll cover a little bit because I did for the first one. I'm probably gonna get it on Switch as well because I kind of like, you know, having the ability to take the game with me. But um, there's really not much else to uh, cover in terms of uh, games that we'll be covering on the channel. I mean, obviously Dragon Ball Legends will be continuing as strong as it's always been, 
But um, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy all the content both on YouTube and on Twitch. And to end it all off, it is time to announce the giveaway winner. Now, if you guys didn't know, which I would find weird because I announced it on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, I was doing a giveaway to give you guys the released Dragon Ball Legends figures, which is of Shallot, Zenkai Goku, Yellow Sparking Goku Black, and Red Sparking Super Gogeta. And it lasted a whole month, a few of you guys entered, and there's only one winner. And the winner of the giveaway is none other than Brennan Haynes. So you are the winner. Congratulations, you have won all those figures. If you do want to acquire the prize, please contact me on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, make one. And if you don't respond within 24 hours, I'm gonna have to pick somebody else. But congratulations to you nonetheless. 2020 is going to be an interesting year, especially because I have a lot of goals in mind that I would love to be able to reach. And I know it's not impossible, so I hope that we're able to reach it all together. The very first goal would be to reach 250,000 subscribers. That was originally the goal that I wanted to reach by the end of last year, but it just didn't happen, which is okay, because I know for a fact, if you guys continue to support me like you always have, we can definitely reach it. So that's the first goal. And then the second goal is to reach 300,000 subscribers. And then afterwards, we'll see how things go from there. But with you guys' continued support, I know for a fact we can reach each goal. So once again, thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys still enjoy the channel and all of the content throughout this year. I do want to know what you guys' goals are, though. Like, what is your goal for 2020? It could be absolutely anything. So long as it's something that uplifts you or motivates you to do something good, I'm definitely interested in knowing it. So what's your goal for 2020? Let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, I'm Indikuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.